Hey guys, uh, Kurt here at DIY 4x. Uh, we're doing a bunch of Dana 60 tech right now. We're going through a bunch of stuff that we do for them. Um, make sure you check that on our live Facebook videos that uh, we do. Anyway, uh, we wanted to do a little bit more detailed presentation on the, the knuckle reinforcement kit. So we're going to shoot a little video on that today. We're going to show you how we weld them on, how we prep things, all of that right down to buffing them out, powder coating the knuckle, and the whole works. So uh, follow along and we'll go through this stuff. <clears throat> what you see here is what you get in one kit. All the pieces to do two knuckles. Um, we're just going to do one knuckle today for the purposes of this demonstration. So um, you got these five pieces. They're, they're made up in lefts and rights. And, uh, you fit them up as you go, follow along, and we'll show you how we do it. Um, you know, I, I think we've come up about the best way to put them together. Done quite a few of these, and they seem to work really well. So uh, give me a sec here, and we'll start going through this and fitting them all up. Be right back. Okay, so all we've done up till now is uh, we've sandblasted the knuckle, and I did go over it just slightly with a grinder, um, and then we've cleaned up all the edges on these parts. And I like to start with this center piece right here and kind of base everything else off of that. Um, one thing we are going to do, and you should do this for sure, make sure you put some anti-spatter on there. There's you got threads down in there and these surfaces that you don't want any splatter getting into. So we're going to start, like I said, with this center piece right here. And we're going to pull it down just a little bit from this top corner. And before I do any welding, I'm going to drop this up there to cover them threaded holes up. Just a little added precaution. Right up there on this corner. And then I'm going to tag it on this one. Okay. Now... <clears throat> The only place I'm going to weld right now is I'm going to weld down here, I'm going to weld across here, across here, and I'm going to start putting some fill in here. As you can see, this is up right here. That's okay. That's the way we want it to be. We're going to start fitting in some of the other pieces, and as we start forming these, we're going to heat these up with a torch. We're going to form these pieces down to the knuckle so they fit the best that they can fit. So um, we're going to cut away. I don't want to weld with a camera this close, we'll get a bunch of weld splatter on the camera. So we're going to cut away, I'm going to do some welding, and then we'll bring you back and we'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so you can see there we got uh, a weld across the top, a little short one down these sides, and I put a little fill in that hole. And we still got our uh, block up on top, make sure no splatter goes down into those holes. As you work around that knuckle, you're going to find out that uh, the anti-spatter burns off and uh, doesn't provide that much uh, protection once it's burnt off. So, uh, you know, threaded holes like that, not bad to put a little extra protection on them. All right, next piece that we're going to put on is this one right here. Goes off to the side. Um, I need to dress up the edges on this one yet, so I'm going to do that real quick. We're going to do that off camera. I'll get this tacked on there, a couple little welds, and then we'll bring you back and we'll show you that. We'll be right back again. Okay, <clears throat> we got another piece on. Um, I didn't show you tacked on, but you know, what's the difference? Uh, you got, I put a little weld on this back side over here. Again, leaving this corner down just a little bit, and I put a bead there. I put a little bead on this corner, and kind of hard to see in the video, but uh, there's a little weld back here where it fit up real nice. Basically, I'm trying to get enough weld on this piece at this point so when i go back and start forming it with the torch i don't have to worry about it popping off if it were just tacked you could you could hit it with a hammer and and pop it off of there um, one thing to keep in mind this front surface here all of these pieces need to remain back from that front surface don't let them stick out on you so uh, we'll go ahead we'll get the next piece on and then we'll bring you back again and show you how that one looks. That one's going to go right over here on this side. So be right back. Okay, so there's the third piece. Um, same drill, leaving a little lip up here to put a weld on. This one fit really nice all the way down to here. So we went ahead and did that. We did a little plug weld there. We got a little weld on this back side here, a little weld over here. Um, some of this we're going to do 
like this piece up here. I'm not gonna sit here and try to do an overhead weld. I'd just be silly. Uh, we'll catch this weld when we come back around to do all the finish work on this thing. So, uh, so there's your three main pieces. We're gonna go ahead and get the next piece on and we'll be back again. Okay, so put this piece on just now. That's the fourth piece. Uh, you can kind of see here we had a little bit of a gap. That's okay. I just ran a, a pass down in behind and then I ran just a little bit of a filler pass over it. Um, you don't want these pieces to fit together perfectly because when you put your root pass in there, you can grab the knuckle and these two pieces all in one shot. You want to weld the pieces to the knuckle, not just to each other. So if you have these pieces all butted up tight to each other, you'd just be welding them together and you'd end up with sort of a boot on top of the knuckle rather than being actually bonded to the knuckle. So a little bit of gap is a good thing. Don't slam them so close together that you can't get down in between them. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and get the torch out. I'm gonna do a little forming on these pieces, a little, uh, little more welding. And uh, we got one last piece to put together right over in that corner there. And uh, after we get some more of the welding done and some more of the forming done, we'll slip that little guy in there. So uh, hang on tight, we'll be back again. Okay, so we uh, did some heating on them pieces and formed them. Got a pretty good fit now. Um, you can see the last one there is still red. And all them gaps have gone away. We still got a little space in between them here where we can get some weld down in between and actually weld the pieces to the knuckles. Same over there on that side. So uh, now we're gonna go back while it's hot and just keep right on welding. We're gonna start stitching the rest of them pieces in there. And then the last order of business will be to put that little last little chunk in and then we'll do a little bit of post heat and then we're gonna bury it in some sand. We got uh, a barrel of sand over there and we'll bury it in there, let it cool real slow. So uh, that's the last little bit here coming up. I'll get some welding done and we'll bring you back again and I'll show you as much as I can. Okay, so we got majority of the welding done. Um, Watch out for your surfaces. This one I had to buff just a little bit. I just rolled just a little bit of that weld over top of the edge, but easily buffs up. This is our last piece to go in right here. I'm gonna go ahead and weld that in. Again, you got gaps, that's fine. I'll probably actually take and grind this corner back a little bit before I weld it in and just create a little bit more of a gap there. Um, you wanna make sure you're welding the plates to the knuckle. Don't just weld the two plates together. That's not gonna do you any good. So a little bit of gap and you can put a root pass in there and then a cover pass. Then when you get this all welded up, you can go back and you know fill these uh, plug welds in a little bit more if you like, whatever, put a little extra weld on so then you can grind it down and make it all pretty later. But do all your, all your heat now. You don't wanna do that all later and get it all hot again. So um, I'm gonna take this corner back a little bit, weld that on. I'll do some more filling around, maybe just a little bit of buffing, then we'll do the post heat, we'll get it buried in sand. So uh, hold tight, be back again. Okay, so we got that last piece welded in. Um, I did add some weld back in a few places that it was obviously low, uh, so that when I go back clean this up, I don't have to do any more welding on it later. So the only thing we got left now is a little bit of post heat, and then we're gonna bury it in the sand and I'm gonna let that sit overnight. So. Uh, I'm using a rosebud. Keep this up. So, uh, a few minutes. A few minutes for the post heat. We should be good to go. It's already pretty hot from all the welding. We're just going to kind of warm the whole thing up. We're not going to get it red. We're not going to go that far. We're just going to warm the whole thing up so it's got an even heat to it. And then we'll stick her in the sand. So uh, next step after this, uh, we'll buff it out, clean it all up, and then uh, we'll show you the powder coat. Um, one thing to keep in mind, you should dry assemble this before you go to do any painting or finishing. Uh, make sure your brake bracket um, has enough clearance to go over these plates that you've added. You've added thickness into this thing, so you want to check that out. So, finishing it up, and then we'll get her buried. 
so there's our sand bucket. Our knuckle is about halfway down, <clears throat> excuse me, halfway down in that barrel. Um, you know, we, we took the knuckle up till it, we just started seeing red over uh, the majority of the surface, I guess. You know, just, just like I said, just warming it up, bringing it all up to an even heat at the same time. Even in those stresses out, kind of normalizing it. So now that it's buried in that sand there, uh, it will cool for the next 24 hours. This time tomorrow will probably still be warm. So a real nice slow cool on that. So that's it for the welding of that. I uh, hope you saw what you needed to see and we'll talk to you later. Bye.